<laughs> you guys, I do not think Kilala is very happy right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Fox Simulator. And somehow, even though we just journeyed all the way across the map to try to get into our den, uh, the farm den where Kilala wanted to go ahead and have her next kit, we have instead managed to end up back under the tree den. I kind of like the idea that Thistleclaw has attempted once again to convince Kilala that this would be the best place to have their next kit because we are only one level away from having our new fox kit and maybe Nettle kind of threw in her voice at that too because she really likes being here I mean look at the two of them this little and Nettle are just doing like a happy dance I think they sent something kind of mystical from this area that just completely goes over Kilala's head so she could care less if they were here but these two are really obsessed with this area so I'm so sorry Kilala let's go ahead and get her out at least there's a deer to eat maybe that can make her feel a little better so let's go ahead and try to hunt down that deer but Kilala really, really, really wanted to have her kit back at the, the farm because that's where she is more comfortable. She's definitely a farm fox. And somehow when I loaded up the game today, we just ended up back under the tree den. So we may try to journey back again, but I don't know if poor Kilala will be able to get that done. Come on, dear. Come on. Oh man, here it comes. The big fight. Why? Why? Why can't we move? <laughs> This deer is more like a, a weird fox hybrid creature. Come on, do we have it? <gasps> you get so much experience for hunting deer. Okay, I will admit with Kilala's appetite being what it is, I think that she could kind of grudgingly tell Thistleclaw that, okay, maybe we can stay here for a moment because there's another deer over here. Let's go hunt it down. Let's go hunt it. She is very hungry and she is very, very pregnant right now, expecting the next addition to the fox leash. I still think that's so interesting that you call it a leash. And I think Thistleclaw, look at him, look at Thistleclaw, that was hilarious. And I think Thistleclaw really wants to be here because this is the place to be. Um, okay, we're just throwing the deer over our head. No biggie, no biggie. This is the place to be. Please go down, deer. I really prefer when our food stays down after we kill it. <laughs> for him to be able to find the golden mushrooms and I think this look is kind of like having a crisis of what kind of fox is he and does he actually have any any power to him since they didn't they didn't complete their journey to actually defeat the three-tailed fox they lost that quest a while ago and this feels like he has not revenged his family uh, and so he wants to be over here Maybe to be able to find out what he's really made up of. And I think Kilala has a bit of an attitude for having been dragged into this place. Kind of, she feels sort of like against her will. So let's go ahead and attack this bear. All right, let's get this guy. Let's get this guy. Come on, family. Come on, we've got him. Don't let him, don't let him get you. Don't let him get you down. He seems kind of slow and lumbering. Maybe he's slowing down for for fall. Okay, there we go. Oh, and we got him. We got him, you guys. Oh, and speaking of fall, I am actually thinking that we will be playing Seasons After Fall pretty soon. That's something I wanted to do in the month of November, but time has just gone by. And then we started playing Ultimate Fox Simulator. And now I want to imagine that Kilala or one of her children, or probably not Thistleclaw, <laughs> But Kilala or one of her children are actually the ones who are in that as the fox. So keep an eye out for that, you guys. And there's another bear. I think that Kilala is just in a bit of a mood. And she wants to go back to the farm. But she's almost been like... <laughs> she's been outnumbered by Thistleclaw. What just happened here? She's kind of been like out outnumbered by Thistleclaw and Nettle. On if they're going back to the farm or not. Come on. Come on. Don't let the bear land a blow. Oh man, they're so fast. So fast and nimble. Look at them. Look at them. The bear only landed like a couple blows before we managed to take him out. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, let's go ahead and eat the bear. Please. Oh, geez. Like I said, please stay down, food. I am begging you. I really prefer when the food doesn't like wiggle around after we have we have dispatched of it. Uh, at least that's, what, that's why a mushroom is a good thing. A mushroom just stays on the ground. All right, so poor Kilala. Taken away from the farmyard. I think she'd be like, fine, and we will have this kit over here at this den, since the game threw us back over here. And then maybe we'll journey. I mean, the farmyard is a much, much safer place to raise a kit, if you ask me. It's very easy. We can gather up wild strawberries here, but there's strawberries safely tucked away in the farm, back on the farmyard. You don't have to worry about fighting wolves. I mean, a wolf tried to invade the den over here last time. I think Kilala would have taken that as a sign to leave, but Thistleclaw would have taken it as a sign that he needed to come back and defend his traditional family den. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Hello, pregnant fox here. 
Don't be rude and knock her out of the way, please. So we have con like conflicting interests going on here, and we'll just roll with the fact that the game threw us back over here, even though we activated the other den, uh, as a sign that maybe we'll stick around and we'll have our next kit here. And then I think Kilala would actually want to make a very dangerous journey with the newly born kit. And remember, newly born kits who aren't level 10 yet, if they die, they're immediately dead. They don't get a, a chance to roll the dice and see if they survived or not. But newly born fox kits, um, we, there, it'd probably be kind of a dangerous journey to go all the way over to the farmyard, but I think that's exactly what Kilala would want to do, is just like go back to the farmyard. She's really developing a taste for bear though, and I didn't really anticipate that. All right, let's climb up here, because I saw another bear on the, the other side. Oh, there's some carcass though. You know what? Come on, Kilala. Carcass is a lot easier to eat than bear. And it, it carries less risk, especially in your state, but I think she's very, very hungry. She's ready to eat. She's ready to take on the big creatures. And it is interesting because we're taking out the bears pretty easily now, especially now that we've figured out how to just like dodge around the place and that she has gotten so dexterous so fast that she just sort of darts around under the bears. So they really aren't that big a concern. All right, but... Let's see if we can find... <gasps> there's another deer! Yes! So much... Oh, there's a, there's a little mushroom. Alright, come on, Kilala. I think she's so hungry, she's just like eating everything in sight. In fact, let's do that with her until she has the next kit. Is Kilala is out of state right now, where her hunger is so intense that she just wants to eat everything in sight. There we go. Alright, took out the deer, and we'll just go ahead and eat it. The whole family can kind of enjoy. There you go, guys. And then there's some mushrooms. So everything we see, we will try to fight and we will we will eat until Kilala has her little fox kit. Uh, except for our family, of course. They better stay out of the way or else they may get nipped. I have a feeling that she would not be very understanding if we get shoved away from our mushrooms again. Oh, more mushrooms, yes. All right. And we do need to have poor Thistleclaw have a chance to maybe look around. If we stumble on one of the areas where his golden mushroom is supposed to be, then we'll look carefully. They're really hard to find. I don't think they're exactly, exactly where they say they are on the map. They're just like a little bit on the edge of where the map says the golden mushroom should be. So we'll go ahead and eat a ton of mushrooms. Oh, we're getting so close, you guys. We are getting so close. And there's a couple mushrooms over here. Any moment now, we're going to have another fox kit born. Oh, and then I wanted to ask you guys, so in your opinion, when would be a good chance to take a season break? And, uh, oh, there's a pretty, there's a whole bunch of pretty foxes here. It's another fox family. But we said we'd eat everything. So we're going to raid their, we're going to raid their area and eat this. All right. I won't eat the other foxes unless they, they fight us. There, we ate their, we raided their area and ate all of the carcass that they had. And they didn't manage to attack us. They must know that we're in charge of the forest. Or we just weren't close enough, I know. <laughs> it's just fun to have a story with everything. <gasps> There's one of the little birds! There's so much experience points! Alright, yes! I don't know why. I think Kilala likes feathered things. She really likes chicken. That's why. It's her favorite food. No wonder she wants to be back at the farm. She has cravings for chicken and they can't be satisfied way out here in, in the forest. Alright, well here's, here's the next best thing. It's a chickadee. All right, and they really are worth so much experience. And Kilala, it really helps to have a fast fox, in my opinion. She's definitely able to get a lot done being fast. All right, so Thistleclaw, let's check if your mushrooms are anywhere nearby. They moved! They moved again! They move, you guys! The mushrooms move! What? Do you see that? Maybe that's why we weren't able to find them. They were like in the wrong spot or something. All right, what's that? Is that a bald eagle? No, <laughs> we're not going near a bald eagle. They're the only thing in the forest that I fear because it feels like they can kill us instantly if we go near them. Let's come over here. All right, come on, Kilala. Let's see if we can get you really moving. Oh, 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 a bit of food. There's a bit of food to dig up. I really want to see your fox kit and then I really want to get back over to the farm with it. But maybe we're just too far along with our next baby to manage to get back. All right, there we go. You just have to add a dash of story to everything. There we go. All right, let's see if we can continue looking for the golden mushroom. Might as well since we're over here. It would definitely do a lot to boost, uh, oh, too dark. It would definitely boost a lot to, uh, do, to do a lot to boost this LaClaw's self-esteem. That's what I was trying to say. And his confidence. And there's nothing over here. I feel like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I see something. It's a little rat. It's so hard to see. Where the heck is it? Back to night vision. It dashed away. 
Ah, it's so hard to hunt at night. Are those two bald eagles? I will not I will not be willing to fight two bald eagles. That's the one thing that I will definitely put my foot down on. All right, but apparently the mushroom is this way. Is that food? Okay, there are a couple crows. Can we get them? I'm always hesitant to fight birds because they, they tend to be really, really, really fast and aggressive. But we got that one. All right. And then is the... Oh, there's some carcass over here. And is that the mushroom? I see a mushroom, you guys. So we'll have to go see what that's about. All right. Come on. All right. Eat up, family. Eat up. We're about to have a new family member arrive. We're so close. We're so close. Is this the golden mushroom? No, this is very much just a red mushroom. All right. But the golden mushroom should be right over here oh but i see another carcass let's go oh and i see a bear <gasps> is that the golden mushroom maybe it is let's do this take on the bear it's guarding the golden mushroom i think maybe perhaps just maybe all right i'm gonna take this bear down come on come on family it's a bear fight a bear fight in the rain for the golden mushroom this look a lot oh no wonder nothing was happening i was clicking the wrong thing i'm sorry guys it's really really hard to do this on the computer, actually. <laughs> All right, we got him. Yes, take that bear. All right, and we'll put him down. Everybody eat. So Kilala has really taken out a lot of bears in order to get to this spot. And what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll search over here for the golden mushroom really quickly. I think we saw it. Is this it? No, darn. It's just a bunch of normal mushrooms again. What about over here? Normal mushroom. But it should be somewhere nearby. Maybe, maybe we'll never find the other ones. We found one of them though. All right, was it hiding in here? No, just the little beetles. Okay, drop it and eat it. Little rhinoceros beetles. Hmm. And is this it? No, it's just normal mushrooms. Just endless normal mushrooms. <laughs> Poor Kilala. She was really hoping to help this Laclaw in her own special way. All right, and let's come up and eat. I think we're almost there. <gasps> you guys, it's a golden mushroom. <laughs> Very disturbingly growing out of a, um, growing out of the rib cage of a deceased creature. That's just a little bit worrying, but we found the golden mushroom. Awesome. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll eat our way around it. So yeah, that's interesting. Maybe it'll look a little less scary once we eat all the food. There we go. And we'll back up a little bit. And look at Thistleclaw. He looks so happy to have found his golden mushroom that he was going for. All right, Thistleclaw. Here it is, buddy. Your golden mushroom in a rib cage. I want to try to line them up for a good picture together. There you go. It's in a rib cage, no less. Go on in and collect it. Dun dun dun! So he has found the second golden mushroom. And it does look like they move around every time you come in. So we'll have to remember that. And so maybe next time the golden mushroom will be elsewhere. But we can go up uh, when we're trying to move over to the farm den. And then Kilala is so close to giving birth too. So let's see. Maybe we'll just send her back into the den. And we can snuggle with Thistleclaw until the next kit is born. Oh, and here's some food over here. All right. So let's see if we can get back to the den. And there's just so many empty carcasses everywhere from what we have eaten. All right, that would be this way. And then we'll get Kilala inside. And I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and let her rest. And then we'll snuggle with Thistleclaw and bring her up to the next level that way. All right, unless this, unless this crow does it. Oh my gosh! <gasps> you guys! You guys! It's gonna... Yes! All right, we have leveled up! Wait, I thought there was supposed to be a new... Dang it! I was told that new slots open up like at the 20s. Is she not level 20? Kilala, you're level 20! A new slot was supposed to appear! I feel so gypped right now! I could have sworn that a new slot was supposed to come if we got up to this point. Is there- what the heck? No, I am not in the mood for this boar. We just found out we're not having a baby. That's really- that's not the time. Look at her. She's like, I am not in the mood. That is not the time to mess with us. Maybe it was 25. Gosh darn. Kilala, I'm so sorry. And here, here I was so excited because we were about to have another baby. I think you can have up to six members in your pack. So, Fooey! I'm so embarrassed. And because I had to record this before I left on vacation, you guys have probably been telling me this for like ages now. 
Ah, uh, and we unlocked enhanced senses to locate nearby enemies. I wonder how that's gonna that's gonna do. Oh, and it can display enemy name. That would be kind of cool. So my goodness. Well, darn. We unlocked. Oh, but look, nettle. Okay. Uh, we did unlock. No, we didn't unlock that fox just yet, did we? Uh, can we select it? Oh, you have to return to den to swap the foxes out. But I think at heart, Nettle is actually an arctic fox and could become an arctic fox. Um, darn. And then what about other breeding? Breeding. Oh, here we go. Uh, bonding at levels 25, 40, and 55. You'll be able to add more foxes to your pack. I am so embarrassed. You guys have probably been telling me this for so, so long. Oh my goodness. So we would have to establish dominance over a wild fox if we needed to do that. Well, I think Kilala feels a little bit embarrassed too. She probably thought she was going to have a kit right now and she didn't. <laughs> But the good news is we found the mushroom, so I think Kilala will be feeling a little bit more like quiet and disappointed because she she really she misinterpreted the signs. I mean, in her defense, she's only had one kit so far. There you go, Thistleclaw. And I think Thistleclaw, it's actually his time to shine right now. So we'll go ahead and let Thistleclaw sort of step forward. Is she already at level? No, no, no. That was just, they were overlapping. So it looked like it said she was at level 21. So we'll let Thistleclaw take the lead for a little while, you guys. And look for mushrooms, I guess. <laughs> or maybe get up himself to level 20. And whenever we see things that Kilala wants, we'll go ahead and let her kind of work on everything. But I think she's going to be a little bit embarrassed because she really thought she was having a kit. And she's not. And apparently there's an enemy over here. <gasps> there is. Um, oh, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. What a cool ability. I love it. That is so neat. Can we turn it off though? <laughs> or is it just going to allow us to kind of move from one, one hunting grounds to the next? All right. I think Kilala is just going to work on kind of focusing her senses. And we're going to, and at least she's at level 20. So she has a one in three chance of surviving if she gets killed by something. And we might let Nettle and the Thistleclaw just kind of take over for a little bit until Thistleclaw is able to find all of those mushrooms. So darn. All right. Well, Thistleclaw's turn at having some adventures and we still have a chance to think about what kind of kit we would have for the next kit. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.